Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Scott with KC Blade Drip. Glad you're with us. Join me. Always appreciative. You know, I uh, couldn't sleep much last night, and uh, ah, coffee's good, which is usually uh, the case if I have a lot on my mind and a lot going on. Especially as I get older, I'll wake up in the night and I just kind of lay there thinking, pondering things, and wanted to uh, do a video before I start my working for the man job, slaving away in my office. I have to work a regular, pretty much nine to five. And um, just a few things to say, public service announcement here, and uh, then I'll kind of jump into a video talking about what's a grail, what a grail is to me as far as when it comes to knives, and um, go over a knife and show it off for you. First off, I want to give a big, big shout out to Scab uh, with uh, Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors. Uh, also, Backyard Knife Dude, hey, the dude abides, always. Um, and then also, uh, Steel Forged and Fire, Sword and Knife, hey, each one of those channels, guys, I don't know how you found me, but if you're watching this video, if you're not following those guys, uh, then you're wrong, because... You need to uh, you need to give them a follow. Good guys, you guys have been awesome, supportive, shout outs, and trying to help me with my new channel and things that I'm doing, challenges I'm facing. Appreciate all of the advice. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. I also want to thank our veterans, people that have served this great country in the United States of America, who've given their lives, given their time energy, heart, and soul for what we get to have every day we wake up. So I'm um, always going to support. I'm a veteran myself. Going to support our veterans. And then third most and all, and just as important, I want to thank all the subscribers, people that have hit subscribe to my channel because you're the reason I'm here. Gives me a voice, people to talk to, lets me know that, uh, you know, you want to see content, you can appreciate me taking the time to uh, bring this, whatever it may be, this big ramble to you uh, as I can film and produce videos for you. So, thank you so much. Appreciate that. You know, we also to include in that, we don't know people's challenges that they face each day. God, what a whole, this is a complex world. If you wake up, tell yourself you're good enough. Look in the mirror and like yourself. People are miserable. We're faced with so many challenges. We're, we're shown pictures and things in the media. And we're told you have to look a certain way. You've got to talk a certain way. And if you don't look and talk a certain way or wear a certain size, that you're no good. You know what? You're, they're wrong. Being different. Being someone that looks different, talks different, that brings the spice to life. Don't stop being you guys. Whoever you are, whoever's watching this, whoever needs to listen to me at this moment, please. I, I'm not any kind of a motivational speaker, but I've faced the darkness and the demons and you know, insecurities, PTSD, whatever it is that you have, mental illness, maybe your your family is starving, maybe your loved one is sick, and you come to this, you come to the internet, this virtual place of digital photography and video to have solace, to get comforted, to enjoy something. Hey, be you. It's good enough. You can do anything that you desire. Just believe. So, with that being said, every knife has a story. I do my best to bring it to you. Uh, each individual story, uh, every knife that I comes in contact with my hand. And it's unique. It's different. The way that I bring my content is me. It always will be unchanging, unwavering. 
And uh, so we're going to start out with uh, what's a grail? What's a grail knife? It may be something that could be seemingly unattainable, whether it be for cost. Maybe it's something we can't afford and we're on a budget or we have a family or mouths to feed. Maybe it's something that uh, is just hard to find, uh, something that we look at, we really cherish and like. Our grail may not even be a knife. Maybe it's uh, something emotionally we're wanting to achieve with ourselves. A grail is a seemingly unattainable item, whether it's physical, mental, and in this case, a knife that is what we, we want to have, what we save for, save our pennies. I'm not rich. Heck, I, I've, had, I've had three grail knives, which means you can, whoa, you know, you got the shiny, shimmery. I've had three. Oh man, this coffee's good, but it looks like I might have a dog hair or something. Um, I've had three grail knives. One of them I had to sell because I chose to, because I was chasing something different. And I now currently have what I would consider two grail knives. This is one that I'm gonna talk about today. It's one of my special knives. One that I will, it'll be in my collection. It's very near and dear, special to me. And I got it last week. This is for everybody that's watching this video at some point in time. It's Wednesday, April 27th, 0722 hours in the morning. And I got this last week. I'd, I'd wanted one for a while. My brother turned me on to this manufacturer, knife maker, designer. I love the knives. There was one in particular that I was interested in getting and I got it. He, he couldn't get it at the time, so he sent me the information. I paid for it and got it. So the knife, um, what is it? What is it? What is it? Well, I mean, it's going to be in the title, so you would have seen it. It's a call sign. Well, that is a call sign. Um, it's Scorpion Six Knives. Uh, I follow them on Instagram. I, they've got a few YouTube videos out, but... Uh, sorry if you can hear me slurping, but... I think coffee's supposed to taste better when you slurp it. Uh, Scorpion Six Knives. I'm going to give you just a brief, very brief... I don't know if it's even a history. It's just kind of telling you about them. The gentleman that uh, started runs Scorpion 6. He served in our great military. I believe it was over in Afghanistan, different missions and such. Um, and I think that was a call sign for his unit with Scorpion 6. To make a, a longer story shorter, he ended up after serving in the military, came back uh, in time, worked, I believe, for Medford Knives for a couple of years. So then after that started Scorpion Six Knives in a garage and then from there expanded, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and the rest is history. Uh, this is Particular, this is a card here that came with the knife. I believe it's husband and wife. It's just the two of them. They are manufactured by hand. Again, I'm going from my mind. I'm not reading anything. I just, it's a special deal for me, guys. This is a grail that I have, and I'm sharing this moment with you. Scorpion Six Knives Made in America. Made by hand, made by two. There's their website. Okay. If you check them out, it does give the bio and information in regards to them um, on the site. So you can kind of know a little history if you're interested. The model of my blade that I got was the Arvin, uh, number 12. Gives the blade information. Nitro V Loki. 
Okay, the handles, April 8th of 2022. And the signatures. Okay. Uh, it just came in this box. Made by hand, made by two. The family here. And then, let's see here if we had anything else, just since I'm covering this information for you. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing else really that would be relevant. Just a piece of paper that came, kind of a document, warranty and such. And then with that, man, I've got all kinds of hair in my coffee. Here we go. So I'm just gonna pretty much show you the knife. I'm not even gonna to attempt to tell you this is the blade steel, this is this, this is that, because guys, I'm in awe. I've been holding and carrying this thing like a little baby in a papoose. That's what you may call it, the Native Americans would carry. Um, I just baby it, I love it. I'm going to carry it and I'm gonna cut stuff with it because this is a badass knife. I love it. I want to kiss it and just, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So just please enjoy this moment with me. The thing, I just loved aesthetically the way that the knife looks. I mean, this is amazing. Look at the color, the attention to detail. I don't know. I don't have a clue how they get the design and the color in the handle, in the clip, the milling, the machining, the work involved. The sheer beauty. I mean, good grief. This is amazing. I hope you get to see this as well as I am. It's a larger knife. It feels heavy like a Medford. Same quality. There we go. Man, look at the blade profile. Look at that. Is that a hair on it? It's part of having golden retrievers. Get your uh, pet spayed or neutered. Don't let them run wild. There's so many animals in the world. They need love too. Adopt, please. That's another public service announcement. Look at that. Like a Tonto. But man, the grind on this is just amazing, guys. Got like a, I don't know if that's some type of a ball bearing in there for when you're closing this and using the lock bar, the frame lock here. It's built into the handle. You have their signatures right here on the inside. Little, little detail. The clip, I mean, you can see, I love how small it is, but you have the holes in the clip. Double screws up here. See the markings here? 
I love the blue. I, in my post on Instagram, I said, cold as ice. It's what it reminds me of. When you get up in the morning, you go outside and it's freezing cold. You've got some snow or frost and it's on your windshield and you see that design across your windshield and it's kind of that bluish, whitish color. Ironically, because a nickname since I had in high school was Vanilla Ice because of my hairdo, but they call me Vanilla. But So I just kind of like the whole the whole ice. I'm not kicking out an ice ice, baby. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it, guys. I'm saving you from that. It's too early. Well, it's early enough. I'd probably act silly as shit and start singing it. One thing about this, I mean, as far as it being super, super solid, is if you reverse grip this, never have I ever, ever felt a knife that when you have it in your hand reverse and you put your thumb here on the back of it, this is the best grip I have ever felt on a knife, the most comfortable your thumb right here on this backspacer because you can use this, I'm sure. Look at the, the corner here. You could break a window with this if you needed to. This is just solid hunk piece of steel, but it fits in your hand, and I've got large hands. I've said that. I'm not going to go into, but you can look. I've even got extra room. I could have gloves on be a complete operator if you needed to, any type of a situation, and this is I mean, you got it right here. You've got it. Comfort. Yeah, the Arvin. So yes, this is, as I said, this is a grail knife for me. It's, this is a special video, a special time. It's my first one of this this type showing this off. A lot of my other knives are just going to kind of be budget knives, but I will say this, no matter what cost of a knife I show, they're all knives I want in my collection. Some people will review stuff or they show stuff off, and I think they do it for sheer volume. And, there, and I'm looking at some things, and I'm like, well, I wouldn't really want to own that because... I plan on keeping mine in my collection, so I wouldn't want to talk about something if I didn't want to keep it. So even though some of the knives I own or I get may be inexpensive, there's still going to be stuff that I really like. Feels great in the hand. The jimping up here on the top of the handle. Very functional, very good blade. I love how the handle is just, it's contoured perfect. You got jimping underneath here for your finger, top and bottom. You can choke up if you want to up here. Put your finger on top so you can do detailed work with the tip if you want to. And it is a strong tip. Look at that. Look at that tip. Only the tip, that's what she said. But. Yeah. I appreciate you taking the time. If you're still watching the video, hey, I appreciate, I appreciate you. And you appreciate yourself, okay? I'm somebody that builds people up. I tell guys at work, I said, you know, when I was in the service, I'm the damn guy that no matter who you are, you can depend on me. I'm going to grab hold of you and drag your ass with me to wherever we're going. I don't leave people behind. I encourage people. I tell them what they can do, not what they can't. I believe in people, even though I've had some not so wonderful experiences. You got to keep dredging on, man. Life is too short. Again, Scorpion 6. Is the company. 
This is the Arvin. Here's my call sign, KC Blade Drip on Instagram. If you guys like this type of content, if you like me, hey, if you don't like me, I won't tell anybody, but still subscribe to my channel. And uh, let me know if you have any comments. I appreciate your time. I'm out.